is the user guidelines that uh, we give it for every one of this product. Uh, this uh, user guideline we suggest that this is pasted very close to the inverterless controller so that uh, you know the homeowners can understand uh, the various functionality. Uh, this comes in multiple languages so we, this is in English we also have in Hindi as well as other local languages. Uh, now if you look at it these are all the basic uh, functionality of the inverterless you have a main uh, MCB which can disconnect the entire load. Uh, you also have two switches, uh, one for a switch for the entire system, the other one is a switch for an emergency uh, LED bulb. Uh, we also have a keypad which is being used for a recharging facility which is also the pay as you go model. We have various LEDs uh, that are here on the product here. And now if you look at it, now it talks about the various uh, you know the switches and the LEDs uh, which are there. Uh, so there is a, this is the complete LED indication. The LED indication tells you if there is a grid power or not. It also indicates the various uh, battery indications whether the battery is charging or discharging or whether the battery state of charge is low. And it also gives the various indication about the load also. Uh, whenever there is a you know load is available the load indications there and there is a status bulb also which is here which also indicates the various uh, status uh, which are possible uh, in this particular product. Uh, we also have a buzzer. Uh, the buzzer which is basically inside the product which tells you saying that uh, uh, you know whenever there is a it, uh, buzzer talks about the various uh, battery charge states also. And when the battery, uh, for example, if the emergency line is cut off, you get a different buzzer. Similarly, when the normal line is cut off, you get a different type. So it basically gives you an indication based on the buzzer itself. Uh, you know, you can understand what uh, this is going through. Similarly, if somebody is paying through the recharge facility, you know, for the pay as you go model, buzzer also will tell you whenever the recharge is successful, it will give you a different buzzer uh, indication. Uh, if you come here, this is how the system is connected. Uh, so we have the solar panel which is connected uh, to the inverterless controller, a battery. This also talks to the mobile phone. There is a mobile app that can be uh, downloaded. And you have two lines. One is the normal line and the other one is an emergency line. Normal line has a certain backup whereas the emergency line has to double the backup uh, capacity. You generally connect only the most important appliance like one bulb or something on the emergency line so that you get a much higher capacity even if there is a sunshine is not there for two or three days your bulb will still continue to uh, uh, you know function. And uh, you know so these are all the various uh, devices that can be connected of course we have a DC TV, DC cooler, DC refrigerator and DC uh, mixes and all are there. Uh, that can be connected with a higher capacity you know with a smaller capacity you can basically go in for uh, you know a fan and a tube light and couple of bulbs and a mobile charger which are here. The recharge payment is also given here so in case if you want to do a recharge you can follow this uh, process so that you know you can pay it on a weekly or a monthly basis. Uh, we also have a mobile interface which is called as a Bluetooth interface. So any mobile phone, any smartphone can basically talk to this device and then uh, get the details of uh, all the things from the mobile app. These are all some of the things that we need to remember. Uh, mainly for example, uh, you know, the, we need to make sure that, uh, you know, we, when you are connecting because you, this power is mainly coming from solar, okay. Solar power is going to be whatever that is available. So we need to understand that we cannot use it uh, you know indiscriminately you know because this is the source of power when there is no grid. So sometimes when there is a cloudy day you will get a lesser power. Sometimes when you have a full sunny day you will have more power. We need to understand how much is available because we are basically dependent on sun god uh, here. Uh, this is a remote that comes with each of these appliances. The remote has uh, multiple so there is there are two buttons here. One button is turn off and on the LED tube light which is there and the other button is to turn off and on the fan which is there. Uh, this is that there are two one up button and a down button. So up button basically you know you can increase the speed of the fan or you can increase the intensity of the light so that you get more light. Similarly the down button you can reduce the intensity of the fan uh, as well as you can reduce the you know intensity of the light. 
whenever you reduce when you are at a lower intensity it draws much lesser power so which means that if you want to use it for a longer time use it at a lower uh, intensity uh, this led bulb has a you know a battery which is there uh, this battery generally comes for 5 years or so but in case if you want to replace the battery the instruction is given there so you need to change it uh, flip it open uh, open the cover for that and change the battery uh, so the instruction for uh, battery changing is given here uh, similarly the instruction for cleaning the solar panel is given here uh, you know what we are saying is a simply clean it with a dry cloth you know don't put any wet cloth don't use any acid don't use any other scrubber or anything to clean the panel just simply use a dry cloth and wipe the dust off of the panel similarly there are a lot of do's and don'ts are here uh, all we are saying is that you know don't keep it near the explosives don't keep it near uh, place where there is an inflammables are kept uh, don't allow children to come near because these are all uh, power equipments which are there and in case if there are any uh, doubts or question anyone can call this uh, customer care number this is applicable uh, all over india similarly they can also send a mail at support@signi.com so that uh, you know they can if they have any questions if they have any if there is a problem with any of their system they can reach us uh, in these uh, numbers that are provided thank you